Bob, you can now go and see Dr. Paranoia and hurry the fuck up about it, you sack of dog shit. Have a nice day. Hello, oh, Bob. Good to see you, my friend. Now, what seems to be the problem? Well, Doc, well, I've got this annoying cold, runny nose, sneezing, the whole package. Cold, you say? Or it could be Big C. A Big C? What do you mean? Cancer? Everything could be cancer, my dear Bob. <laughs> Even a sinful cold. The body is a mysterious land. And you, my friend, are an explorer. Come on, Doc. It's just a cold. Ah, but did you know that in Chapter 37, Section 12, Subsection 6, it clearly states, even the humblest of colds may harbor the seeds of the dreaded C-word. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not what it says. That C, ahem, <clears throat> potential cancer, sneezing, likely cancer. Ruddy nose? Definitely cancer. Wait, seriously? Bob, my friend, in the world of Dr. Paranoia, everything could be cancer. Your morning coffee, cancer. That potted plant in your living room? Definitely cancerous. Uh, should I be worried about this medical degree on your wall? Oh, that? It's just a formality. Now let me check. Your reflexes. Doc, I think I get a second opinion. Wise decision, Bob. But remember, even the second opinion definitely cancer. On a serious note, we know the prospect of receiving a cancer diagnosis can be daunting, but if you have symptoms you're worried about, it's important that you don't put off seeking advice from your GP. In many cases, these won't turn out to be cancer, but for those that do, we know that early diagnosis makes cancer much more treatable and to all you fellas watching this, check your balls daily, like you're not fondling them right now anyway.